Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Alright, so we're back here, and uh, so I don't think I was going to bother doing any more RPGs uh, here, unless I can figure it out. Like, I, for the life of me, I cannot figure out how I'm supposed to get him his weapons. Uh, I, I look in the journal, I just don't, I don't see his quest anywhere. Um, I, unless it's just under a different name and I'm not seeing it. Uh, assist the hacker, assist Herod. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I'm not seeing it. Citadel Volus Ambassador, what is this? Uh, a message from Primarch Victus. Investigate the ambassador at Presidium uh, Embassies. Really? Huh. Okay, well, let's go to the embassy, see what that's all about. What's that? Uh, uh, it, was, it was associated with uh, Substance Move. Oh, you're oh, you were just talking about Final Fantasy. Okay. Um, okay, let's head up to the embassies. I didn't think there was anything left. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, I think the general might just not get his quest. I might just say the heck with him. Yeah, might just say the heck with him. Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, um, something else that uh, you guys might find on sort of a sort of more serious time side of uh, entertainment, I guess. Um, on an alternate bit, on an, an alternate channel on BitTube, I posted. Uh, I just finished posting uh, by chapter the audiobook of uh, 1984. It's uh, I've j I've always known basically what it was about, but I've never actually like listened or read it. Um, man, it's uh, I've gone through the free first few chapters. It is frightfully, frightfully relevant. <laughs> I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. Samara. What are you doing on the Citadel? It's off. Samara on the Citadel. I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe. And Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. It's an honor. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Definitely. Uh, okay, let's let's uh, let's talk to her a bit before we move on. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, that might be where we're going next. Our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you. Yeah, our numbers brutal. were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves if that is what's required. That seems bleak. Yeah. <laughs> is being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Well, that's good. You don't want to head into, into a thing like this with regrets, for sure. Uh, the Reapers. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. <laughs> um, but what do you think? Is that how you see it, too? An odd question. Coming from the Spectre who killed his third Reaper on Rannoch. <laughs> yeah, well, different circumstances, I guess. 
Will Flair be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Flair will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. No, not at all. I... <sighs> it is far from unseemly to care for your family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. And that's all we can say to her for now. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Do, 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 right, I was supposed to investigate somebody here. Um, I wonder if I was supposed to talk to... Um, uh, maybe I just haven't talked to her yet. Can I guess you go through? New? Okay. I can't remember if I, I... I think maybe I did talk to her. Okay. Okay, I have my suspicions that perhaps some of these quests are broken and that they actually are done when it says that they're not. Uh, I'm just going to check something in here, and then I think it was at the Spectre Terminal. Um, commendation Rally, uh, Captain Rayleigh. Uh, Captain Ra uh, Rayleigh, an, uh, an N7 operative, has been nominated for a... Uh, for accommodation for Valor, uh, for her actions at Sion. Approval from a Spectre would fast track their... Oh, yeah, done. Done. Done skis. We, we got over here. Oh, yeah. I never I never did get a hold of the Black uh, Widow because it's just so outrageously expensive, although I'm somewhat close to being able to afford it. I don't know if it's worth it or not. I would hope... Uh, oh yeah, there's a Paladin. I mean, that's a pretty good pistol, but honestly, I think the one I have now is just as good. And actually, the pistol that you get from the Citadel DLC is totally overpowered. It's way better. Like, it's such a good gun. Was it so Sifu? Have you played any uh, cool new games or watched any new movies? Uh, I haven't been uh, keeping up with the uh, <laughs> with the hip hip hop culture these days. Um, yeah, I was just trying to think if there was any movies uh, that I had seen recently. Ah, uh, jeez, nothing come to none come to mind. I can't I can't think of any. Um, oh, I guess I'll check with Captain Bailey before we go. Um, uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus, trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. I'm pretty sure that's old news. You got your work cut out for you. You and me both, Shepard. Um, yeah, as far as new games go, um, not, a, not a ton. Um, but I think what I might start doing now, if I can kind of make sure that I get things perfected with, the, uh, uh, with my streaming setup and recording, I'll do some more fancy things like having pause screens uh, or... Um, you know, like, like you know, having st uh, break screens, I think they call them. Uh, and then I might even start doing, like, like more than one game a night. Like, uh, you know, one night I'm doing, the, uh, you know, in, in a single night, I might do like as many as three games. Since I don't have to stop the, the stream in between. Which is beautiful. Um, was it, um... Areas tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu. Was it, uh... Oh yeah, gold. Yeah, yeah, that that whole thing, that whole disaster. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why so many companies just want to go bankrupt these days. I don't know. It's weird. It's totally weird. <laughs> um. Oh, let's take a quick look at Purgatory. I love the music there. Was it? I just noticed that this stream has no tags. Um, oh yeah, you mean the Twitch tags? Um, yeah, I did, um, I haven't used those yet. I, I know, I know of the, the, uh, I know of the, uh, the Twitch tags, 
but I haven't tried any of them because I um, I was trying to add some before, but it said something about violating certain rules with those ta with that particular tag on, so I didn't I didn't want to. I just kind of backed out. Maybe maybe it's not a big deal. Um, was it? Uh, you hear about Nintendo uh, suing ROM sites, by the way? Yes, yes, I did hear that. That was that was crazy. Um, not sure I'm on board with that. I mean, it seems like a pretty hard dig for you know ROMs, uh, you know games that they're arguably not really making any money on anymore. You know, it seems kind of. I mean, yes, somebody is making money off their intellectual property technically, but it seems. I mean, it seems kind of shitty to sue somebody for. Billions, like obviously they can't afford that. Like, I mean, just just give them a takedown notice. They could even say, you know, disable the ads on your site or something. You know, that just seems crazy. Oh, is this the same conversation? Your turn. Oh yeah, that, that's the same conversation. I I already know what they say. Um. Why can I still hear them at full volume? <laughs> It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. Is it? So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. I hope this isn't a social visit. We still have work to do around here. What have we gained by having the Eclipse at our disposal? A ton of mechs and elite troopers for stealth operations. Sane has turned out to be more malleable than Jonas Sedaris ever was. My control of Eclipse runs even deeper than I expected. You surprised me by taking such agency in the matter. Um, oh my God. How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is shoring up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. That yeah, line gets old if you keep doing it. Blood pack falling in line. With Grill in charge, where all systems go. It's his voice, but my words. Couldn't have asked for a better puppet. The blood pack have committed 2,000 Vorcha to the cause. They'll make up the bulk of the army. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Cool. Uh, all right. So, huh? Yeah. Just looking at what I got left in this game, and considering my possibilities, if I give a shit about some of these side quests, I think this might actually be the last time I come to the Citadel in this playthrough. I think we might just power through and do some missions. Um. The let's see. The last thing I do. Uh, what time have I got? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, let's go back to the Normandy. Um, if you have yeah. A question, one moment. yeah, we're just going to go back to the Normandy and we're going to poke around, see if we can uh, give a quick chat to uh, to anybody on board, see if there's any, anybody to talk to, have any new dialogue, and then we're going to go to Thessia, which is like... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a whole... There's a whole other mission. Wait a minute. There's this whole other mission that I'm thinking of that we haven't done yet. It's no, it's before Thessia. You're sure of what you saw? Yes. Your brother since then? No, there, there. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. I'm just thinking. There's, there's a whole other mission where it's like. Oh, what's it called? It's like, it's like Cerberus. Uh, set up this, this um what was supposed to be a sanctuary and it turned out to just be like this fucking death camp. Uh, yeah. What mission is that? I want to get a start on that mission tonight before doing Thessia. Yeah. Totally forgot about that. Let's see if I can sit up a little higher so I show up better on the green screen. But, uh, I was gonna say, but uh, yeah, the, um, this new setup that I got, man, it should make it even easier to uh, to start recording uh, retro games again. Which, uh, oh yeah, and my friend has given me an old Super Nintendo that he has, so I don't have to worry about that audio issue on the Retro Trio anymore. 
So looking forward to that. Um, I don't think I have anything to say to those guys. I already talked to them. Oh, excuse me. All right, let's uh, let's go talk to the crew real quick. And let's see, this video hasn't been that long. I'll include it within this video. Let's see, crew deck. Uh, yeah, we'll head down there first. Was it when a Ravager's sack breaks? <laughs> Never. It's always a bad day when the sack breaks. Uh, swarmers are released. See? It's a bad day. Nobody wants a broken sack. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's, let's see if I got any more uh, Garrus dialogue. Yeah, I'm just starting to, to remember some stuff that I would have expected would be... Shepard, I looked over your mission report. Gotta say, it feels like we've been after these Reapers forever. From Sovereign to Leviathan, they've been a pain in the ass the whole time. Yep. But at least we're starting to see the big picture. Never really thought we'd get any answers. Doesn't change much, but it does make this war feel a whole lot bigger. Yeah, well, and it gives it context. You know, I, 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 I like that, you know, we got some DLCs that give us a little bit more you know, explanation as to the, you know, the, the Reaper's history and what they are. You know, I, I liked that they did that. I, f I found it extremely interesting. Please, enjoy your day. What's that, um... Was it, I should follow Doug Tanapple? Um... Uh, he created Earthworm Jim and I think, uh... Oh, not really! Really, he's like the creator of Earthworm Jim. Oh shit! And I think you like him and what he, what he says, and has to say. Hmm. Doug Tanapple. I will definitely have to look that up at some point for sure. Um, was it? Uh, I actually, I actually got to go on to uh, Video Games Live, which uh, is led by the uh, the guy who did the music for Earthworm Jim, um, Tony. Um, no, not Tony. T t um, oh, sheesh. I'm gonna get his name. You know, I'm not even gonna attempt his name because I just realized I'm gonna get it wrong. Uh, it was Tony or Tommy. I can't believe I got it wrong. Yeah, I actually. Can only imagine talking to something so huge, so alien. I hope it helps against the Reapers. Uh, to Tommy, Tommy Teller Echo. Yes, yes, that's who it is. Um, yeah. So I got to, I got to see him on stage live, and you know, with the whole crew, and they, they did the video games live concert, which was amazing. Um. I actually recorded the audio on my on my phone, just you know, just just kind of a crappy little recording. I was, uh, you know, it's obviously not high quality. I was thinking of I was thinking of posting it up on just for fun. Um, I probably wouldn't post it up on YouTube just because of um, just because of copyright claims that would probably ensue. So I might put it up on uh, BitChute and BitTube. Um, I probably wouldn't have. It was about two. Probably about two hours ish. I probably wouldn't bother. Like, uh, I might divide it up into like hour parts or something. Though, like, because because there was an intermission in between. I might like make it two separate videos at the intermission. Try to put some kind of visual to it. Um, uh, I was gonna say anybody in here? Nothing. Okay. I was gonna say. Uh, post on Twitter or Gab? Um, maybe. I haven't really done any uh, video uploads to Gab. I know, I know they have that 500 megabyte uh, limit, which is... Uh, I mean, that's honestly probably just to keep their uh, keep their costs down so they don't vid me themselves. And I just realized that I'm going back and forth between the two same points. I'm not paying attention to where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 I'd imagine they're probably doing that so that they don't up and vid me themselves. Just because ultimately, I mean, they are just supposed to be like a communications platform. They're not primarily a video platform, so I guess it makes sense. I've been thinking about what we learned, Shepard. The thing is, I don't really care what the Reapers are or where they're from. They're monsters that need to be put down. That's all I need to know. No, it's, it's better to know your enemy. It's better to know more facts about them. 
was like, gap is okay, you just gotta compress the crap out of the content. <laughs> and yes, it's good for sites not to vid me themselves. Yes, absolutely. Hey there. <laughs> it's good for sites not to vid me themselves. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> Pretty proud, of, pretty proud of that little last second explanation I came up with. Um, okay, yeah, it looks like there's not really much of people saying anything. Just some kind of shitty audio, auto, auto dialogue, to be honest. Was it? Um, uh, I'm liking. Um, I'm liking CGN a lot. I've seen decent growth. Yeah, I. I want to get back into using CGN. I haven't been using them um, lately, just because it's. I've been finding it hard to keep up with, you know, you know, between you know posting on Twitter and Gab, and you know, you know, basically doing all those things. And I, I tell you what would get me back on CGN uh, almost unquestionably um, if there was a way that. If there was a way that I could, so, no regrets oh wait, over fighting the reapers on a human ship. Hey, the Normandy's design was part Turian, remember? You know what I mean. No, somebody has to keep you from giving all the Dextros a bad name. That's right. <laughs> I remember you chastising me on behalf of my species for losing our homeworld to the Geth. I never said that. Would you like me to send you an audio recording? No, I hate listening to recordings of myself. My voice never comes out right. Hmm. <laughs> Listen, about what I said. Forget it. No, I was wrong. I was young and I was wrong about your people. I guess losing Palavin put things in perspective. Yeah, you could say that. How about you? You ever mind serving on an all-human ship? Somebody has to stick around to keep you in line. <laughs> um, sorry, I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't quite get to uh, to finish what I was saying there because of, because Tally interrupted me, so rude. Um, was it? Um, I know the dude from CGN that seems pretty cool. Yeah, he does seem pretty cool. Uh, I, I saw him in an interview once. Um, yeah. Um, what would make what would really get me back into using CGN is if there was a way to do things just much more streamlined like if when I add a new video if I could just put in the YouTube URL and nothing else it just it just automatically grabs the title the description even the tags like if, it just, if it just like auto did all that stuff so that all I have to do is post in a YouTube URL we'd be golden I'd be right back on the CGN train um, I don't know I might figure out some other easy way to kind of incorporate them like maybe maybe I won't bother putting tags I don't know we'll see Need anything, Commander? Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna talk to him about that. Um, oh, I can't. I carry on, Adams. I can't aye, even aye, give sir. him the thing that I clearly have. That's what I mean. I think some of the gl glitches are the quests are I glitched. I lost you down there. Don't do that again. Not even to forge an alliance with a damned Reaper killer. You're worth more than that. Well, thank you. That's very. That, that's very sweet. That's very, that's very sweet. He's nice, nice fucking hips. Um, <laughs> uh, what do you get? What are you, yeah, who's saying? Shepard, just, just Shepard. Well, thanks, thanks for that. My board is green. That no, it's yellow. That's, that's a blatant lie, or you're colorblind. My board is green. No, no, it's not. Try again. My board is green. No. God damn it. <laughs> Ship up. Donnelly. Good to see you, Donnelly. <laughs> uh, what do we get? Um, what was it? Get? Was it, uh, I got, got you in, in fairness, BitTube doesn't do that either. Yeah, bit, uh, yeah, BitTube isn't exactly doing that either. It's, um, I mean, they at least grab the title. That's one thing. Um, yeah, BitTube could honestly do better than better at that. Um, there, I mean, there's there's slightly less steps, but it's not by much. Yeah, and I mean, I guess I guess I'm seeing. I got to see slightly more benefit from doing it on BitTube. Um, 
just because I have gotten you know some some bit tube cryptocurrency. Uh, I I've managed to accumulate a bit. Um, distribution of tubes have has dramatically slowed down. Um, like watching other people's videos, you used to be able to get like a tube every three minutes. Now you'll get like 1.8 tubes every hour for watching. So it's it's slowed down considerably. But if Maybe we'll see, maybe we'll see some growth in the value of the tube. Like if it goes back up to fifty cents, that'd be good. Can't say I was happy sending you down in that submersible by yourself. Don't know why I ever worry about you. Take on ancient aliens from the deep? Sure, no problem. <laughs> That's me. And let me guess, this guy this guy is gonna give me. Man, you went down there. That was all crazy. And then he'll just say, hey. With the Leviathan on our side, maybe we pull this thing off after all. Maybe, James. Too bad Anne never got to see her dad's work pay off. Do you hear that hum? Is no. that just me? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 yeah, I know what he's talking about now. That... Do you hear that hum? Yes. Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Oh, I'm just... I'm disappointed. He didn't give me that... Hey. He didn't give me that... Hey to go along with it. <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, um, okay. This episode will be a bit, a bit longer, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know where that mission is, but I'm gonna have to find it. I know there's another one before Thessia, and I've gotta find it. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me. Maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.